Greetings Internet, my name is Chris and I'm playing Space Engineers. I've been very addicted to this game um, in a recent month or so uh, and they have added a lot of cool um, cool updates. One thing I do like about the people who, uh, who are making this game is the fact that they every time they make an update they also show you what the update conta um, contains and, um, and how to operate it as well. So uh, we're taking a look at the Project Titan, I think it's called, yeah, Project Titan. This is, um, I mentioned it in a previous um, Space Engineers video, but this is the uh, video on my, uh, well, it's more like a showcase of, um, of builds I've put out on, uh, on the workshop. I guess you say it like that. Um, oh, hello. Okay, so this is the saved version. Um, this is actually, um, this is actually a f building further than it ex actually is on. It's built further than it is on the workshop, but it's not. It's not that much. So you can see, I have this massive carrier here. It's it's supposed to be reminiscent of a um, aircraft carrier. Um, one which basically floats in the sea and then it's a uh, floating base of operations but it doesn't really have much else than uh, than this long long strip and control tower and uh, then an underneath walkway uh, first let's look at the fighters here I actually really like these fighters they are very nimble they're easy to control you can see I'm moving my mouse very little I'm moving it about two centimeters from each side so it's it is very easy to spin around with this I just I just uh, take my mouse and then spin it around once or turn it to the side I mean uh, like five centimeters and it turns all the way around so um, it's very easy to uh, also get very um, confused with this as it can turn around a lot but it's one of the one of the fighters that will take um, some getting used to and you can see I'm actually I've selected my um, missile here uh, but it doesn't fire because I don't have any missiles on this and that was just a choice because I want this fighter to be one that uh, protects but only against other fighters and um, I'm counting on other fighters uh, having an armor that can be destroyed by um, by Gatling guns so that's why I have four of them you can see it's very very heavy armored and it's very easy to um, fire as well or not fire to hit because it's, it's right where you're looking when you enter the ship so this is a fighter it's very easy to land as well just want to make sure we don't uh, come in too hot okay I usually use uh, third person to do this you can also do it in first person so just line it up so it's pretty straight and then let's go down and see we just want it to slightly hover and when you reach this point you want to go a little bit slow uh, to prevent anything from breaking you see we've got all three lit up press T exit the craft you can also walk around so it's pretty nice I think it looks very good and it's fun to fly so you can see we have a lot of them already and here we have four before this one yeah so we have five on this so you can imagine how many that can be when this is uh, not even that close together so you could I, I think I wrote in the workshop that you could have about 24 but I think it's a lot more you might be able to actually fit I don't know 40 on this one here so just imagine this floating around and then coming to assistance of uh, of say a smaller craft or a bigger craft and then just releasing all these fighters to cause mayhem and uh, destruction to the enemy so we'll go down first um, just uh, why not so you can see we've got this here <laughs> basically the reason why I have um, why I have these here is because sometimes you will slide down the stairs and um, or the ramps and you'll go like this and then shoot out so this just stops here and it also looks pretty nice, I think. So that's one part of it. 
down here or back here we have we have the uh, currently unusable medical room or medic room no medical room um, so I think it's uh, widely considered that these should when operational be able to spawn in uh, people after they die so it's um it's supposed to be slightly hidden down here um, so that even invading people won't just easily be able to take it out okay then we have the big room of lots of generators and there's a lot of thrusters down here as well um, actually this entire craft has no visible thrusters at all so you can see here we have up down here we have back and forth up here you can't really see it but behind here we have side to side if I can actually go under here I can so you can see you have side to side and um, you don't really actually see the the blue light that much when you are flying around so it looks like it's actually floating in space which is the intention so you can also see we've got a lot of gyroscopes we want it also to be able to turn rather quickly okay so let's walk back up here and as I said, um, whoa, hello. Um, as I said, these are on uh, on the workshop, so I'll also leave a link to that in the description. So you can see we have a turret here. It's slightly, slightly hovering, um, only a little bit. Okay, maybe a little bit more. Um, just imagine that it's not. <laughs> Uh, I, I just went with this. I don't know. It looked it looked nice, um, and then I wanted to add to add a uh, turret. Um, but yeah, so I'm I I'm imagining that these can either be controlled or they will be automatic, and they will maybe be able to set people as friends or enemies. So just imagine this. Even if people do come in, if they walk up the uh, the ramp, for example, they'll be shot. If they walk down, they'll be shot. So, yeah, we've got one on each side. Then we go up here. Uh, try not to walk in the middle because this will usually um, mess you up. For example, if you activate your jetpack, you just get <laughs> shot far away. Which is quite strange, honestly. Um, but, I mean, yeah, why not? Uh, we got four separate control um, chairs. I don't know why. It looks cool. There's nothing else up here. Um, we do have some windows. So we can look out. Not very good windows though, but you can, for example, you can look around at least. And you've got uh, also windows on the side, but as I said, not very <laughs> good windows. So let's just pick one of these. Doesn't really matter which one it is. Not that much when you have this big of a craft. Um, so you can see this is the whole thing. It has an acceleration of uh, how much was it? I don't really remember what it is. It was quite a long, uh, long acceleration time. You can see I actually forgot to turn that fighter off. So when I'm going forward, it it actually it's actually using its um, dampeners to try and counteract to stand still. Right um, behind here, this is uh, something I just created for fun. Um, you can see a sort of um, uh, what do you say? I think you would call it like a uh, mine dispense system, sort of. Um, and I have the idea. Let's just. I already stopped turning it, but you can see it's turning quite a lot. Let's just stop it down here. Alright. I want to face the planet, so or the asteroid rather. Alright. Uh, it's actually a bit too far. Okay. Let's see if those. Upwards thrusters do anything? Oh, yeah. So you can see it is actually pretty pretty quick for its size. Let's just stop it a little bit. It's turning too much. All right. Um, so you can see, for example, I would um, back towards my target. Let's just turn off dampness and then press P and then dampness on again. So you can see right now all our Mines are going one direction. Uh, ugh. I thought I was never going to say that word ever. All right. Um, I I was I won't. Oh, never mind. So you can see we have our mines going towards the target. 
And this would basically just be a sort of way to, um, I don't know, foil anyone trying to attack from behind or try to um, be a way to destroy uh, other crafts. Um, big crafts, for example, like that, that one. So, um, yeah. You can see, <laughs> don't actually explode that much. Um, there we go. So you can see, because this is a, um, a large ship, the explosion is pretty big. You can see this is um quite quite a chunk. So yeah, um, this uh, feature I haven't updated um, updated the workshop page, so it actually won't be there unless I do that. So I'm probably gonna do that. But uh, yeah, also I actually forgot I called the small ships I call those uh, firebirds, and this big one here is a titan. Um, so yeah. And also has uh, these Gatling turrets on the side. Once those become, those become, those becomes. Uh, once those become operational, you also have a way to defend. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching. This was a look at my Project Titan um, creation. I hope you liked it. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.